Hey y'all, it's Zoe and welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, in today's video, I basically just am putting together a day in the life in the hospital vlog that I filmed a week before I was discharged. So I'm not there currently. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you what it was like for me and just you know show what it's like in covid so that's basically what this vlog is um but before we get into that please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already give this video a big thumbs up at the end and leave a comment down below if you feel like it okay now let's get on to the video Hey guys, it's Zoe, and today I thought I would just show you what life is like in the hospital. So, currently it's a little past midnight, and usually the blood people come in after midnight just to take some labs. So I'm currently waiting for them to come. Sometimes I fall asleep, and then I get woken up for them to take them. Uh, so right now I'm just waiting, and then usually I fall asleep after. Then I get woken up again for vitals. And then I get go to sleep, and then I get woken up again for some medicine. And then I fall asleep again, and then usually I'm awake by nine. So that's usually what it looks like. And so now I'm just waiting for the blood people to come. So because of the procedure that I had, I usually elevate my feet at night, and then I lower my head when I sleep. So it's currently 8.30 in the morning and usually in the morning they give me my meds which I already took and then I go to the bathroom because I cooked up on all of those fluids. Um, they actually did not wake me after midnight to draw blood so I'm assuming the one before midnight was the one that they needed. Um, I, <laughs> I did get woken up for vitals and then some meds also in the middle of the day. So now I usually just wait for breakfast to come. Um, my hair is messy and I have to be careful brushing it because I can't shower because of this wrap on my leg. Um, I can use these body wipes, these like bath, body bath wipes, but not been able to fully shower. So I've been using dry shampoo and brushing my hair, but since it's not completely washed, my hair sheds a lot. So I have to be careful where I brush it so it's not all over my bed. Um, so yeah, so now I'm just waiting for breakfast. Okay, I forgot to record it. It's my fault, but I just brushed my hair and used the dry shampoo. Um, my friends brought me this, and it actually works really well. Like, there's no white shoots in my hair, which I appreciate. Um, even though it's not perfectly clean, it still makes me feel better. So, yeah, if you have dark hair, I would recommend this. So, yeah, so I'm still waiting on breakfast. Yeah. Alright, so I just finished my breakfast, which was really good. Um, I took a picture of it, which I'll put here. And I was also FaceTiming my mom and sister, which is really cool. We usually FaceTime when we eat. So now I'm like just chilling. I usually go for walks. Um, usually around this time-ish, doctors come in and just check on me, give me any reports. But since it's the weekend, they're they don't come in as often. Or like things are a little bit slower. Um, yeah. So I take my mask off to eat, but then I keep it on otherwise. I also take it off to drink and stuff. Uh, but. <coughs> I sleep with it and just try to wear it as much as possible. I have small things to keep me busy. I have the hospital TV, I have books, I have a coloring book on my computer. And so I usually do that. I also sleep a lot. <laughs> um, I eat three meals a day here. And yeah, so now I'm just chilling in my bed. I have a smaller pole now. You would not believe how giant my IV pool was before this. Um, 
And I'm just waiting for my numbers to look good so that I can go home. Because I really want to go home. I'm going to keep my feet elevated. And yeah. So yeah, I'll probably go for a walk in the afternoon. And then I'll go for one in the evening. Um, still not sure about physical therapy yet. Uh, so we'll see. And uh, yeah. That's it. I've had this wrap on now for six days now five or six days so they're gonna have to come and change it soon and i want them to give me the sock the compression sock because i can get that wet and i can take a shower but the bandage wrap can't get wet so so yeah i will be back okay. also it's a little past noon and the doctor just came in. He told me that when I get discharged, I'm probably going to have my own home health nurse just to come by the house and check on my leg and the dressing and stuff like that. The wound care people should come by tomorrow or Monday, most likely Monday, and then change it out. I can ask about if I can wear the sock, like when I can wear the sock. Um, and yeah, that's all he said. So the, he's hoping I can go home. Really next week, and I really want to go home early next week. Uh, I still haven't gone on a walk yet, but I probably will after lunch. And then whether I need physical therapy is like the doctor's saying right now. I don't need some, but I don't know. I decide later on if I need it or not. But I'm just. Trying to be patient when it's really hard because I really miss walking. Okay, guys, I just finished lunch. It was barbecue chicken sandwich. I forgot to take a picture. I just ate the chicken. I didn't eat the burger bun. And then I had some green beans and some corn and an apple. And now I'm going to go to the restroom and then go for like a little walk. And then I might take a nap. Usually I just play on my phone, watch stuff on my phone, watch stuff on the TV. Sometimes I read a book or I'll color. Um, I can't have any visitors because of COVID. So, yeah. So I'm going to go do that and I will come back on when... Yeah, I'll just come back on later. Okay, so I just keep my phone walking and I'm probably going to do one or two more later today. Basically, I just walk the halls once sometimes I'll do two laps so yeah I'm just I still can't believe all this happened and I'm just ready to start walking normally again and all that jazz so so now I'm just gonna chill maybe maybe take a nap and then we might go for another one before dinner like before their shift changes and then I usually go for one at night so Yep, I'll just talk to you guys later. Okay, so it's been a long time since I've been on here, but basically I ate dinner, my friends dropped off dinner, um, and then I called my family, I called my friends, and now at nighttime I usually just chill. They come in, check my vitals like usual, give me nighttime meds. I try to take my allergy meds and do my wash my face and all that um, but sometimes it gets a lot to do that but I do try my best um, yeah and then it just starts all over like I said I usually wait stay up until a little after midnight in case they need to come in and take blood if they're not here by like 12 30 I usually fall asleep to be waking up at like 1 30 or 2 to get blood drawn um and just kind of repeats like that and every day has kind of been like that some days I'm not like, on my phone as much uh, like today I was pretty much all on my phone and barely watch the TV sometimes some days I, I watch the TV a lot some days I will read or I will use a coloring book um, but yeah hopefully I will be out of here soon but that is pretty much my days like at the hospital um, there are hand sanitizers everywhere. The nurses uh, use them when they enter and exit. They put on gloves. Um, I always keep this on. I think when you're in your own room, you don't have to, but I just feel safer having it on. I only take it off to eat um, or to like drink water. 
And yeah, like I said, no visitors, but people can drop stuff off at the front. So my friends have been dropping me off food, flowers, goodies, all that kind of stuff. Which, by the way, if you're watching this, I appreciate all of them so much. They're so sweet. And yeah, it's kind of lonely, but I find ways to entertain myself. And I wasn't even expecting to be here like two days, so I'm really ready to go home. Honestly, feel like I might have an emotional breakdown. <laughs> so yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, I guess. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Okay, so that was the whole vlog. I really hope you guys like it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I did mention back in the vlog about physical therapy. I did get a home health physical therapy come visit me. So I have some physical therapy exercises that I'm working on and I'm walking so, so much better now. Pretty much almost back to normal. Um, I have the sock on. Um, yeah so i'm so so happy to be home um i'm so grateful and thankful to all of my hospital nurses and doctors that took you so such good care of me but yeah so thank you again for watching and i will see you all next week bye